you know, one of the beauties of grieving much is the fact that you loved much. Yes. And that if we can turn our thinking to understand what we have mm -hmm. and what we've held on to and what made that really, because you wouldn't grieve what you didn't love. Right. You know, you don't grieve what you had no connection to. Right. And I think that's part of the beauty of it is to remember the, the things you've loved, what it did for you, because it is better to have loved yeah. and, and, and not to have shut yourself out because it'll keep you from doing it, from shutting yourself out right. to future, you know, right. for a, a, a young widow to open herself up to love right. again, you have to grieve the loss of that, that first husband, grieve that moment and treasure the fact that you were able to love so that you could open your heart to another, to another at and some And that's point. why you have to sit in it, because if you don't sit in it, you don't process those emotions. Wow. If you're shutting it out, you're not realizing, wait a minute, mm. I loved hard. So I'm going to grieve hard. When you, when you, like you said, you were telling yourself, nope, nope, nope. You, it, you physically tell yourself, I'm not going to deal with this. So you'll get up and get busy. You'll clean the house or you'll go do something. You're not processing, but you have to be intentional about the cues that mm -hmm. you're giving yourself. So mm -hmm. when you get that emotion, do you sit there and accept that emotion? Or are you like, okay, nope, I'm going to go do something. I'm going to go clean. I'm going to go... Like my aunt, she would just clean, 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 clean. It's like, oh my goodness, you, God needs you to sit down. I need this not dirty anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. But that was her thing. So you have, you'll, you'll understand if you're processing it and you're doing that internal work, you'll know when you're squashing it because you're not dealing with it. You're doing, you're busying yourself. Mm -hmm. So you just teach, when you go through the process, the support group, you learn what works for you. Mm -hmm. And there's a process in there where you, you write a goodbye letter. Right, mm -hmm. so if it was for your Yorkie, you would write your Yorkie <laughs> this goodbye letter. And it actually, when I wrote the letter at first, they, I was kicking and screaming. I'm like, I am not writing a goodbye letter. I'm not telling my dad goodbye. I'm going to see him on the other side. I'm not doing that. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. But when I finally did, it was like this weight that was like, <sighs> wow. like that felt good. It felt better. I feel mm -hmm. like a release of these things that I was holding on to because within this letter you apologize for certain things and you forgive for certain things. Mm -hmm. And it just really gives you this sense of calm. It's like your your heart and your spirit is just calm. So you understand like I started journaling. That helps me mm -hmm. release. I started doing some meditation that helps. So individuals will learn what their coping mechanism is and what works for them, but everyone's grieving process looks different. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. To see more like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Get all the latest content from TCT Ministries. We'd love to pray alongside you for God's blessings in your life, so you can email your prayer requests to prayer at tct.tv or click the link below and submit your request at tct.tv. God bless you and thank you for watching.